so let's take a look at this simple interest problem. We're going to earn 8% interest over three years. And basically, we're going to calculate the interest for uh, the first year, the interest on the second year, interest on the third year. And that interest is being calculated on $4,000 each time. Okay, so basically, we put it all together and we say $4,000 times the number of years, okay, which is three years, times 8%. Okay, so that gives us our 8% three times, as there's our 24%. Okay, and we end up with $960. So the total amount earned then would be 4000 So the total amount that we have is $4,960. Okay, so that would be the end amount at the end of three years using simple interest. Now, the real world rarely works like this. Okay, usually what happens is we calculate interest and after we calculate interest, that interest then is allowed to earn interest again. Okay, so we are able to earn interest on top of interest. Okay, so it looks like this. So we're going to have the money at the end of the first year. So we're going to start with the same amount. Well, this is going to be called compounding interest. So what's going to happen is we're going to calculate interest at the end of the first year. And that interest that we calculate at the end of the first year is able to collect interest the next year. Okay? Whereas in simple interest, we only ever calculate interest based on our initial principal of $4,000. Okay? So there's an advantage to compounded interest. Okay, so compounded interest is going to be when we start with Okay, so this case here, we're going to start with $4,000. And we're going to calculate the interest charged. It's going to be 4,000 times 0 0.08, okay, which is 320. So our closing balance is $4,320. Okay, that's the amount we have at the end of that first year. Now that closing balance then becomes our opening balance at the beginning of the second year. Now compared to the simple interest, they only ever calculate interest on the $4,000. Now we're calculating interest the next year on the $4,000 plus the $320. So the next year's calculation looks like this, $4,320 times 8%. Okay, so we're going to need a calculator for this. So I'm going to do 4,320 times 0 0.08. Okay. Oops. 4, 345 dollars and 60 cents. Okay, and we're going to add that on. So we're going to end up our closing balance is 4,000. It uh, looks like $665.60. Okay, so that is our closing balance. So that closing balance then becomes the opening balance for that next year. So we have $4,665.60. Now, in simple interest, that fifth year only earns interest on $4,000. But now, with compounded interest, it's earning interest not on the, just the $4,000, but an extra $665. So that calculation then becomes, I multiply $4,665.60 by 8%, okay, and I get $300. And seventy-three dollars, and I'm going to round that to twenty-five cents. Okay, and then adding that on to my original amount, four six six five point six. Okay, my closing balance ends up being five thousand thirty-eight dollars and eighty-five cents. 
Okay, so compare that with what we earned with simple interest. We earned $960 of simple, simple interest. Here, we've earned over $1,000 using compounded interest. And this is really how the real world works. We actually compound our calculations. Now, we can streamline this a little bit in that we're always going to add on that 100%. So basically, what we're going to do is we're adding on 8%. So again, we want to try to avoid the, all that adding and subtracting bit. So we're going to, instead of you do the two steps, multiplying and then adding, we're just going to multiply by 108%. So when we do that, we have this chart down here. So we're going to take 4,000 and multiply by 108%. We get 4,320, just like the in simple interest. And then we're going to do 8% of 8%, so we're going to end up with 108% of the original 108%, which gives us our $4,665.60. And then the third year, we're going to earn 8% on top of the first 8%, on top of the second 8%. Okay, so this is compounding the interest, and we end up with approximately $5,038.85. So the compounding works to our advantage in terms of it, if we were on a gain money on interest, but we also could, it, when we actually pay off loans, loans are compounded interest as well. So we don't just pay the interest out at the end on the original amount, we're paying interest on top of interest as we go along. So we, there's this compounding effect, which makes it take us longer to pay off loans. So compounding, is essentially growing things by repeated multiplication. Okay, and repeated multiplication will always grow things quicker than repeated addition. So this is why compounded interest is much more advantageous if you're trying to grow money uh, compared to simple interest.